Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. I do believe last time we left off at the break of day 17. Yeah, because. Alright. Note to self Kira Miki. Well, sorry. Kira Miki had just shown up. She was cool again. Right before her, we saw Dawson after a while. Or for the first time in a while, I should say. <clears throat> that was also, you know, interesting. To say the least. His encounters always are. Alright, time to mix drinks and change lives, as they say. Hey, Gil's back. If I recall, he was, um, out getting stuff for the party Saturday. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. Um, what? Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? I feel like he wasn't asked to do it, but that also doesn't sound too out of character for Dana. Without a doubt. Let's go with that, then. Right. Oh, hey, it's Stella. Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. Alright, Bleeding Jane. Let's see here. It always throws me off that the Adele hide is not one of the. <laughs> Whoops. Already screwing up. It always throws me off that the Adele hide is not one of the ones for Bleeding Jane, since, you know, red and stuff. All blended. Alright. There we go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for Sai? I came myself, actually. Just wanted to... I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh, that's nice. Hey, we can invite her to the party Saturday. Oh. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean. Really clean. Gil is the one you can owe that to. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need a cleaning staff, or cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? <laughs> he must have had a nice chat with the lady at the grocery store. He's out, he's a bit out of it today though. I see. Hey Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Oh boy, what's that mean? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on these pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, you know, cutting edge equipment and all that, right? Well, the tech behind the suits was are always safeguarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. Oh, she looks upset now. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Oh, god. Did you mean that as in it got, like, they were inoperable from inside? Because that sucks. Many suits drop, or many units drop their armor right when, right there and fled the lynchings, or when the lynchings went on. God, can I ever read a sentence correctly? Anyway. Sorry, I was, my computer wigged out for a second, I needed to check something. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to make or had to take the armor off manually to run away. Yeah, that would suck. That suit would just weigh you down at that point. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky; they got beat up while and while they weren't able to move. 
So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights, well, more than paperweights, I imagine, since, you know, they'd be weighing you down, and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see profit from that research to justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC literally has a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. There's this one weird case, though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of the very unique Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Blitzkrieg Corps? That is a cool name. Unique. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his suit, or his unit's armor, was heavily modded to the point where they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. Hen what? Kyle what? <laughs> She's embarrassed now. It's funny. Ahem. <laughs> they looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through in the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. God, I missed hearing this song, let me tell you. You know a lot about this. It's interesting the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. Yeah, we have an idea. It also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. Uh-huh. We have an idea. That should sound familiar to you. Ringing a bell? True. Wait. Here's a freebie. A fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to evolve blowing up and leaving no traces. Oh, Cobra unit style, huh? But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. Yeah, it would be bad if suddenly a bunch of white knights started blowing up around a bunch of innocent people. I guess even Zaibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp, but, well, because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. No, oh, sorry. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. Ah, oh, one second. Ow. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard the horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to being here, due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. Yeah, I figured as much. The dude seems kind of just there to get people's attention. Ah. Sorry, I took my jacket off a minute ago to cool off for a second, but... Now it is mildly chilly. Well, by relative standards, anyway. Yeah, he has no power, anyways. He's just the front for wh that whatever the council behind Saibatsu Corp chose. He makes a fool of himself, and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Saibatsu Corp is actually doing. Yeah. So, what you're saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park. I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah, I think I remember her saying that. Huh. No, seriously, Hen, what? <clears throat> Can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure. I'm a bartender at a bar. <laughs> Alright, Brantini. 
250. That's the good stuff. Oops. We want to double it because usually that results in more pay. Unless the customer is Ingram. That means they're a cheapskate. Alright. Yahtzee. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well, I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kira Miki Encore concert. Oh, so happy. Nice. Alright, as it turns out, she was just here. Yeah, just Mr. Again? <laughs> Sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised that she remembered me, though. And, like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Yeah, she was cool. Man, so the rumors about her actually being a really nice per- er, her, her being a really nice person were actually true? I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life. But having such a backing to that claim to hear what's- that she's so nice to everyone? It's nice to hear, you know? In fact, many think that's what made her famous so quickly. How, she, how she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. Yeah, true enough. I mean, if you actually like the people that you make, like the content you consume, whether it's music or whatever. Like a lot of the artists that I like, as far as music and stuff go, it, it comes off that they are so into what they are doing. If they are having such a good time, it's hard not to also have a good time while listening to it. Ah, I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting bad people. Although, to be honest, I've never put much thought into that one. Half the time, I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care much. Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being a jerk. And he actually has managed to get certain contracts over people more power over more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. Sounds like good advice. But more importantly, daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? Well, I mean, it's not like you're a liar, Jill. You're not the kind of lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just different, a different hairdo and a cap. I mean, those ribbons look pretty, or those little hair ribbons look pretty. Um, or unless that, over here on the left side of her, well, it would be her right, but on the left from where we're looking at her, it almost looks like it could be part of her outfit, but over here it looks more like it's her hair. Anyway, a different hairdo and a cap, sorry. Got sidetracked. Kinda reminds me of Celeste. Or Celeste's hair in Danganronpa. I see. I wonder if I could get into the disabled line with Sai and her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Well, probably, yeah. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Ah. Alright, classic. So, no, not classy. Classic. Another Bleeding Jane. Got her that already once, so we'll go with beer. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's four. And two again. Ta-da! Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. Wow, that's cool. He still comes by every weekend to tend to the plants. That's nice. 
Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Oh, that's cool. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm. I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented? Pat patented anyway? There we go. I get trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was actually patented. For some reason, I can't say that right now. In the first place, isn't it? Zaibatsu have been paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable, or so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable, that they never patented anything. A patent would be in the data, and it would be in a data- now I'm- now it's in my head. <laughs> yeah, alright. Not cool. That someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry would, in their right mind would approve that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are also illegal? That is hilarious. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. Screw the rules, I have money. All that power makes you think you're above everything law there is. And this city is just what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though, have you ever covered up any screw-ups by using money? I think we all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. Aw. Oh. Bye. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Ah. Oh, hey, Alma? Two days in a row? No hello? You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. <laughs> First the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks stops, and then before you know it, boom! Total anarchy. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. You're exaggerating. I am not. In fact, I'll go through that door again, and I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary. <laughs> oh, man. Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. <laughs> As someone... Uh, Gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor I mother tap muttered, tapping on my chamber door. Only listen, nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quoth the bartender. I did not. <laughs> okay, Jill, you are the best. That is wonderful. So you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet sure. You know, I thought I remembered that differently, to be honest. I thought what happened... I forgot she did that entirely, because I think I made it apparent last time that I had already played, like, up to Saturday, or whenever the rent was due, and got by by just a whisker. I, I like how I stop to do, or to talk about this, even though, you know, I could fill the time that I usually spend just counting like a moron. <laughs> drinks. Anyway, I made it apparent that I already played this section for a while. Or I already played the next, or the section we're in the middle of. But I forgot that that happened. I thought she walks back, I thought she walked back in and Jill was like, hello, welcome to Valhalla. Like, literally. Like, very literally, the proper greeting that time. So that's funny. Alright, let's see, Cobalt Velvet. Four... Six, ten. Mix it, you fool. There we go. Hmm. Here. Thanks. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering for a while. Hmm. Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? What? Apparently it does. Wow, you went pale. Isn't she usually pretty pale? No, the name doesn't ring any bells. 
May 2nd to my daily card readings told me. Today my daily card readings told me I'd greet change thanks to an old man. Like card readings is in like tarot cards? My biology teacher told me I had been picked for in an inner school contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science of singularity. <laughs> Later entries don't seem to have gone that well though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Jill. I make sure to delete that blog, no evidence should be left. <laughs> oh man. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that all have that stuff archived. Why? Why? Sheesh, relax, it's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like when you're st you're still like that nowadays. That would be embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? <laughs> Gods, no, I gave up on the whole occult stuff. It's just remembering all that stuff is... Ugh. I don't know, I like the way you looked. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out, th thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a picture. Oh god, you have a picture. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of the past? I was bored. <laughs> it's messed up. <clears throat> Last Friday I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing. So I ran a small background check on you. That's that's weird. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys, and I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me to this day. Yeah, alright. Never underestimate the lengths old classmates will go to to track you down. Ugh. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun, and they're lonely to boot. We've all done things we're not too proud of as adults. Now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. Objection. I have to ask though, why the 16 Oh, of course. It was supposed to be 69, not 69, like a reference to the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 69. I was 12 at the time. <laughs> Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. But she was trying to, like, raise the dead or whatever. That's hilarious. I know that's not what occultism is. I was just being silly. Sugar Rush. Alright. All of the optional caramel trine that you can eat. 